Welcome back to Game Does Play Games, where we play games and talk about game design. Oh yeah, and today we're still playing more oxen free. I'm about to pick up <laughs> a mysterious letter left by the now deceased Margaret Adler. <gasps> I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. Where? I, okay, so we'll read this. There's a similar statue of a soldier in Maine, where I grew up. My memory of it is. I think, think part of the reason why I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite my family's protests, Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was of course thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymous, anonymously started the petition in 1975 to have this one made after the daughter of Kanaloa crewman Francis Salter asked. I don't know why. A marker maybe for the hope I once had to help people. Huh. So she was part of the military. Yeah. Uh, there's also something peculiar peculiar about that statue. And we've we've already passed it, and it kind of freaked me out when it happened. Well, and mention of escape. Like, they've mentioned, like, Michael getting a chance to escape, but then mm. not because he dies. And, like, she said something about that. So, like, is it just, like few people ever leave their town because it's just like one of those small towns or is there something sinister actually that is something worth talking about because why did michael drown he was teaching alex how to swim i feel like I he mean, if probably far enough out yeah but how would he have saved her then well who knows because he would have had to kind of bring her back you know so i feel like something weird must have happened that pulled him under i kind of want to Check the 140.1. Yeah, do we have to be anywhere in particular? I don't know. We could check it out. We'll find out if we need to be. That's true. It's 140, yeah, 140.1. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything yet. <clears throat> so are we going straight to the Adler house? <sighs> oh, oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the, well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, good. Some oh, it's just a <sighs> weird stuff it. happened along the way, but, I mean, I guess whatever. That's the new normal now. What weird stuff? Clarissa sort of, kind of got possessed and then disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh, so there's that. What? Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? <laughs> yeah. Um, so are you going to try the gate thing? Or... Yeah, I'm just getting closer, yo. Jeez, Al- or not Alex, if Ren. If we're still gonna go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Calm down, you two. Jeez. Is it 140? Is this where the 141 is supposed to work? Right in between the... The... That... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wonder if the radio, um, so you know how, like, whenever we, we encounter, like, the, um, that, like, the triangle shapes and stuff, and we call forth the demons, I wonder if there's, like, we should have written down what those frequencies were that triggered it. I wonder if it means anything. Yeah, I don't know. Or if it's just, like, arbitrary numbers. We're supposed to know. Maybe it says on the gate. It's possible. I guess the radio will. Oh, this, this is another somehow. one of those little triangle Hopefully. signs. So Get now that roll. we have this radio, we must be able to open some of those other doors. So try out the sixty-six point two or whatever it was. Also in a triangle, like, 
uh, <sighs> frequency because it goes Please high number, low number, then in between those two. Both think happy thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes sense that it would be below the like whatever the eighty is that the old radio could do. Yeah, because they don't want you to go in there prematurely. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. that you would have known to use a radio to open the door. But... Uh, yeah, I know, right? I guess Jesus, the, the triangle symbol huge. might have suggested that, that really but. How to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> yeah. There is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying, like, secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy Doo or whoever <laughs> to figure it out. What's a Scrappy Doo? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Aren't you the least but curious? There's not going to be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. Oh. It's just a wrecked submarine. I mean, I'm yeah. more curious and by that really so anxious, dark, you can come back on your own time. deadly looking... I just want to get home. I guess it's a door, but it looks like a cryptic... Oh, it's Ooh, a basement. basement. Oh. oh. Oh, wow. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation <laughs> slides or something. Yeah, I like how they're just going straight for the boat, oh, but this Brent, is like right. literally the player There's making like the choice that Alex here. is saying that we could do. Oh, here you go. The and Adler family here's owns a the combination island. for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29-18-54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative, but maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of... What should I call these slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Oh, I'm glad we went in here. Yeah. You know, it'd be really interesting at this point if, um, if we could actually just get on the boat and leave. And just end the game, not figure out the mystery, not have Clarissa. How would you feel if that happened? A little cheated. But, like, but that was the player's oh. choice. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat That's that true. needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. <laughs> but we can try that now if you think it'll help. <laughs> <Stare>. <laughs> But yeah, I I always find it interesting when games do that. They did that in, uh, Eric did that in Song of Seven, where uh, you could just choose to never leave your town, and then it's just game over. Not game over, but like, the story is over. Hmm. Main character chose to never live a life of adventure, and did all these things, and died in the place he was born. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Well, in that case. Ho, ho, ho. Power drill? You know, we haven't talked a lot about the sound design, but I think it's it's pretty well done, too. Yeah, I agree. I'm actually curious how they handled the the sound for the radio specifically. Because, like, they could just have, like, one set sound, um, and that's just the radio frequency, but, like, having it merge into each of the channel sounds must have been an interesting, uh, thing. Eddie would know. He'd probably be like, oh, they just use F-Mod, and they just do this thing. Eddie showed me F-Mod once. Nice. I have no idea how to use it still. <sighs> There are like too many channels now. Oh, there it is. That is a nifty gizmo. <laughs> Indeed it is, Ren. Whoa, finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. I thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you, get, you in get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen? Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's here. There's so a everyone's here now. We can just... We, everyone's we okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, perfect. 
I don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Well, I say you had to. You, you had a tough Everybody time choosing that too. That <laughs> like, uh, should I? You know, that's one thing I do really like about this Ooh. game. I feel like I start a lot of my phrases Man, that way, but like books. the it's fact that math, this game auto saves. You can't load back religion. previous saves. She, okay, we of... get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. But I feel we'll like the dialogue dearly. choices you make, or even if you were presented the choice of like leaving on that boat right there, like that's a permanent choice. You cannot just go back to an old save file. Um, How are you so doing? I think that How like are you doing? really encourages replayability and makes it stressful to choose Ren things. Secretly hates me since I kind of put my faith in you over him and pressure cooker situations. No, he'll be all right. I can tell. He looks at you like a sister. That doesn't drain easily. <laughs> they just went in the basement. <laughs> oh, that's an attic. I thought it was like Ooh. a cat's toy or something. Attics are Did they have a circle? A little yeah. Haunted house. Oh, okay. It was like up here, right? It's the tight spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and oh. well, I'm actually that about covers it. Ooh, the chest. You know what? This might be the um, the chest that takes that combination. Okay. 29, 18, oh, she's just doing it. Fifty. Wow. All four. right. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. She must have been the one that wrote that on the walls. She couldn't have known yeah. about the ghosts, right? I don't know, something about ELF transmitters or the submarine's ways of communicating. Um, you can just say you don't know. That's okay. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Oh. Got them. Perfecto. My bet is, is that if we try to take the boat, something's going right. to happen, though. got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Oh, preteens. Okay, well, we should end the episode here before we get a little too far over time. Okay. Um, <laughs> 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 um, question of the day. I, I want to ask about making... Um, well... Maybe, maybe not necessarily about making tough choices in games, but maybe about the autosave. Um, because I find it interesting that there is no way you can load previous saves, which does mean you need to replay the game if you want to see what some of these other outcomes could be. So yeah, I guess... I mean, that makes it replayable? Gives the it, game some replayability? It, yeah, it makes it replayable, but it also makes it harder to explore some of those other options. So I guess my question to you guys is, do you think that it's a good thing that they didn't allow you to just go back and load previous save states? Um, and I guess on either side of, of that design choice for the saving system, what do you think would, how this game would benefit from it? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, be sure to... Tune in for the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for that. I don't, I don't know where I was trying to go. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>